All right, this is Polyphonic Video Blog 2, and I'm going to be talking about summer jobs here. Now, it seems a little weird to be talking about summer jobs now, given the fact that it's fall, but remember that they're going to be thinking budgets a long time in advance, and so you want to start thinking about things now. One of the first things you want to look and think about is uh, staying at home with your parents. So there's some good things, some bad things. If you want to stay at home, some pros are free rent and free board. Uh, you're going to have a well-developed network since you've been living there idea of probably for a good chunk of at least a couple of years. And everyone knows you. It's great. Some cons of being uh, working in your hometown and living with your parents is that especially if you live in a small city you're gonna have a real limited growth potential and you're not gonna be able to really do anything beyond just the basic things you're gonna have if again if it's a smaller town you're gonna have limited exposure to world-class instruction and music which is something that if you're wanting to move forward in the music you wanna expose yourself to the best possible music you can find and a con is everyone knows you which can work both for you and against you and again, I don't mean to knock small towns, but if you're living in a small town in Iowa, your ability to get a, a job that you're going to feel satisfied with might be a little bit lower, depending on what your career goals are. That's always the caveat. So, uh, if you're in a large town, like, and, and I mean like Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, like Philadelphia, we're talking major towns, this could be great because you can develop long-term uh, professional opportunities and there are hundreds of them, literally hundreds of them because you've got multiple schools um, but there's also a lot more people so it's going to be much much more competitive another thing to remember is if you're a college student don't forget working at where you are where you're going to school during the summer a lot of college music schools will have a summer program and maybe not even necessarily a music program, but summer opportunities which will give you the chance to live with free room, free board, and make money on top of it, and develop skill sets. Now whether they're in your field or not, that depends on which program you want to think about. Uh, some things that you can do are marching band camps. They're going to be everywhere, um, particularly in August when you're getting ready to go into the season. They may not be thinking about it now, but if you get your resume out there, you get your business cards out there now, that's always going to help you when you follow up later and don't forget to follow up later if you don't hear anything from them. Uh, again, colleges are going to have summer institutes. Some might be musical, some might be pre-college, some might be early childhood music. You just got to look around and, and just I want to give you guys some ideas of some things that I've come across. Another option to do maybe if you don't want to work during the summer is going to summer festivals and there are tons and tons of them. There's Eastern, there's Atlantic, there's Aspen, there's... and they're gonna range from short festivals which might only be a week to three weeks to long festivals which might be the entire summer. Uh, don't forget with summer festivals, how are you paying for it? Uh, are your parents gonna pay for it? Are you gonna pay for it? Is there a scholarship for it? Uh, are there work study? Which uh, a lot of the larger summer festivals have work study opportunities where like for example at Aspen you can get a job working as a stage hand which is always great because you're making money uh, you're probably going to be spending money for a program like Aspen unless you're there on a scholarship. A short festival is good for your finances because it's going to be cheaper and it, if you only have to take a week off from a summer job uh, you're working at home which is how I started. I had a job as a pizza boy uh, making lots of pizzas um, but uh, my boss would not be cool with me leaving for four weeks at a time so I'd leave for a week he'd be fine with that and I'd be able to make a lot of money staying at home and not paying anything in high school so uh, the long is long festivals are great in that you're gonna have a lot more opportunities to develop it uh, but you're not gonna be able to have a summer job at home and you're gonna be paying a lot more money again don't forget payments for travel uh, room and board and so the other opportunities when you do music festivals you have the chance to network with short festivals you're gonna have to do networking very quickly uh, improving your music skills or for whatever reason you're at the camp whether it's a leadership camp uh, you have a very very short time to make an impression on management so make a good one and you know, be courteous work hard and always always in both case with short and long familiarize yourself with faculty administration and you know know these people so down the road if you want to ask them for a job or you want them to consider your resume they can at least put some idea oh yeah this person came and talked to me 
And with long summer festivals, you have the opportunity to develop networking over a much longer period of time. And remember that long festivals usually mean room and boarding for students, which almost always entails residential advisors, which is great. Uh, not the best hours, but you're going to get room and board, and you're going to usually get some kind of stipend, which is a great, great opportunity for students. And the other thing with something like an RA position is you're going to be on call for long periods of time, so if you want to practice, almost always there'll be some way that you can practice in the dorms or in the facilities or somewhere close, so you can practice and get paid, which is always the goal, to get paid while practicing. Anyway, time's just about up, so thanks for listening on my video blog, and I'll see you guys in another two weeks.